By the grace of no one other than God himself, I have made out of my seasonal depression alive. I'm back. Happy Feral Friday. You guys, I filmed a Plates routine today that's going to be up on my YouTube channel. And of course, at the beginning, I tried to make a short little intro and I just kept blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. And I'm like, wait, maybe I like can't get back to vlogging. Like maybe I do have things to say now because I was just like, had no words for so long. Or like the words that I did have were like not good. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like not well, but... I was like, wait, like maybe I can vlog. And now I'm here, I just took a shower and I was thinking in the shower of all these things I can talk to you guys about. And I was like, you know what? Let's do a little Feral Friday vlog. It's Whole Foods Friday. It actually is snowing this morning. I just made my tea. Um, I didn't go to the gym this morning because it's freaking snowing. It's March 22nd, my 25 and five month birthday and snowing. Happy birthday to me. Like, are you kidding me? I'm like literally out of breath. I <laughs> still for my workout. I did, I filmed that video like an hour ago, but then I did that and then I showered and like, I haven't like, had a chance to like catch my breath, Jesus, because I was talking through the whole workout. It was like, it's like the talking part for me is like the real workout itself, not even like the workout. I get so tired from talking. Anyways, snowing this morning and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna, like my gym is already far away enough. And like when it's snowing, it literally takes me like 30 minutes to get there. And I'm like, it's like really not worth it. But I've gone to the gym every single day. Like since I got back from my surgery almost two months ago, I haven't missed a single day. Well, I did miss one day, but that's because I wanted to like walk outside instead of at the gym, and I regretted that. You guys know I don't like outdoor walks, but I've gone to the gym and walked my three miles, at three or four miles, every single day the past almost two months. So this is the first day I'm missing, but I did, I feel my plot, I turned it into a positive. You know, I was like, oh, like don't want to drive to the gym today, but I don't want to miss my workout. And I was like, you know what, I can do a Pilates. And I've been wanting to film my new routine for you guys anyway. So I was like, and I can turn it into a little filming moment. And I loved it. It was, it, the routine is literally so hard, you guys. Like, it's actually ridiculous. It's, it's the routine that I've been teaching. On my live classes, it's insane. Like I'm literally dripping sweat, shaking at the end. It's like literally like 20 minutes, maybe like 22 minutes. Like what? Plot, that's just what you get with plates. Like I tell you, like it just slays. Anyways, I also woke up. I was talking about this in my class today because I couldn't shut up, but I also woke up literally. I slept for seven and a half hours, but which like obviously, you know, we're always reaching for eight, but like seven and a half, like that's pretty good for me. Like back in the day, I was getting six and doing a whole workout, go to my nine to five. Okay, like I was going through it. Seven and a half hours, I thought that was pretty good. Literally woke up feeling like a bag of bricks. A bag of bricks. Like I could not move my legs. I was, my body was just exhausted. And I'm like, bitch, for, from what? But I think I have, it's like since I have been going to the gym every single day. And like, I've been like very sore lately. And I'm like, maybe it's good that it snowed and I didn't go to the gym because I have been very, very sore lately. So I probably needed a little day off. And here I am taking it, baby. Um, I woke up feeling like a bag of bricks. Could not get out of bed. And then it was snowing. So I was like, ugh. I didn't, and then I was like, oh, well, I'm not gonna go to the gym. And then I literally could not stop eating either. Like I was so hungry and like, I just got off my period. Like I'm in my follicular phase. Like I should not be being tired and hangry, hungry at this time of the month. You know what I'm saying? So I had avocado toast and usually that's like a perfectly fine pre-workout breakfast for me. Had my avocado toast. I had a little matcha, had my coffee, still starving. Like, like I hadn't eaten in days. I'm like, okay, I could not stop thinking about Raisin Bran, obviously, cause you guys know my new obsession is this Trader Joe's Raisin Bran. I can't, what, I can't even look at the box. Like I had a bowl of Raisin Bran, still hungry. It's like 8.30 in the morning at this point. And I'm like, how am I still hungry? So I did not want to work out at all this morning. I was like, I did not want to work out at all. Like the snow, I was tired, I was hungry. I just wanted to eat snacks all day, okay? But I did it. I did the workout and it actually like, you know, it's like once you finish the workout, it's like, why was I ever feeling so bad? You know, like I'm not tired anymore. I don't have like an insatiable appetite anymore. Like I feel great, you know? My tea is getting cold. Actually, it's still quite hot. Okay, that's good. Um, but then I worked out. I forced myself. I was like, Taylor, if you do this workout right now, you can have chocolate covered cherries later. And now I don't even want the chocolate covered cherries. I was cr like, I almost ate chocolate covered cherries at nine in the morning. Like that is mentally unstable. Like why, why was I already on my third breakfast? And now, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not good. Anyway, but I feel great now. See, that's what Pilates, oh, like I hate to like advertise my own Pilates, but like that's what Pilates does to you. It just, ugh, just whips you back into shape. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love her. Um, took a shower and I told myself my sh I really need to like clean my shower. Like, so, like I fucking hate to clean my shower because my shower doesn't have like a takey down sprayer. You know what I mean? So it's like, I literally have to fill up a cup with water and splash it on the, I'm so like, that, that like gave me the ick for myself. I had to fill up a cup with water and like splash it on the walls to like clean off my shower. I can't just like spray the walls down. Oh, so I hate washing my shower, but I get sweaty when I do it. Like it is a workout. Usually I'll do it after the gym. Like I'll get home from the gym while I'm sweaty 
in my workout set, my sports bra, and I'll scrub it on the shower. And I was like, oh, I should have done that today after Pilates, but I realized that I should have done that while I was already in the shower bathing and getting clean. And I was like, oh, that would have been a good workout since I missed my three mile walk. That would have been a great workout. So I'm going to do that this weekend to make up for my lost workout time today. And, and then I also will clean my, cause I really need, it's really disgusting. Like my, uh, you know, when like you rinse off your fake tan and like the fake tan like stains, it like stains the bottom of your shower or is it just, is it just mine? My fake tan will stain the bottom of my shower. And it's been stained for quite a while. I really need to clean it. Anyway, so that's my motivation to um, clean my shower. I need to do that this weekend. I'm also, oh my God, no, I have to say this. Like, oh my God, I'm going to start crying. You guys, I was sleeping on Colleen Hoover for so long, okay? I really was. Because usually when everyone likes something and everyone is so obsessed with something, I'm like, I'm good. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to read the books that everyone's reading. You know, I want to be unique. You know, I don't want to be like everyone else. But my sister gave me the, um, she bought the book It Ends With Us. And I've never like, like I've seen it, of course, but I never knew what it was about. Like I've never looked into her books at all. And I was like, she was like, do you want this? Like I got, I, I didn't really get into it. Like, do you want it? And I was like, sure. Like I literally just finished my book like the day before and I needed a new book to read. And I was like, sure, why not? Like I'll take it off your hands, whatever. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll probably like, you know, I probably won't like it, whatever. <sighs> not only do I like it, like, I love it. Like I'm obsessed with it. Like I went to bed last night and I was like, I cannot wait to wake up and read my fucking book. Like usually I'm like, oh, I can't wait to wake up and like chug 87 coffees. No, like I would rather read the book over having coffee. Speaking of coffee, I have way to see. Oh, I missed you guys so much. Anyways, okay. I have so much to update you guys on. Hold on. Let me get all of my little, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get all my shit together. Okay. I'm obsessed with the book. I finish it so quick for me, okay? I, people are like, I finished the book in one day. How the fuck do you finish a book in one day? The fuck kind of, what brain power, what, what, what are you taking? You know, give me some of whatever you're on, girl. I can never do that. Me finishing a book in like a week, two weeks, like that's good for me. Like I hate to say it. I usually re read like two or three chapters a day, but with these Colleen Hoover books, I've been reading like three to four chapters minimum a day. Like I, like I can like, like I want to keep reading. Oh, it's just so good. So I love that book. And then I didn't know there was a second book, but when I finished the first book, I was like, wait, like what happened? You know what I mean? Like what, wait, wait, like, is there a second book? And then you guys told me that there's a second book. So then I, it was surprisingly available at my library on my little library app on my iPad. And I was like, a period. So I checked it out immediately. I'm already almost done with it. Like I've been just flying through it. It's so good. And I just wasn't expecting it. What's it called? It starts with us. That's the second book. And I just wasn't expecting it to like be so good. And Colleen Hoover, she really just like, like she knows how to put emotions into like words and she knows how to like show like the cognitive dissonance that the characters are having and like the back and forth like in Lily's mind, like when she's like considering everything and like, I just feel like I can relate to her and like Atlas like so much just with like all of like the emotions that they're going through and like feeling like pulled in two different directions kind of like, I... I just like, I just love it. I love it. And I love how she conveys emotions so well in like the writing. And I just, I can't believe I like it so much. So I I have like 40 pages, I think left. Of, so I'll probably finish it like tomorrow or Sunday, but that's my latest. Like, I can't believe how much I love it. And then do two of my other books because on the online library that I use, like some of the books, like you have to wait, it'll be like 18 weeks wait. 18 weeks so like I'll like put a hold on books and then like two more books the book tomorrow tomorrow it's like tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow or something I don't know what it's called that book I just got off of hold too so I like have like a big reading list ready to go so I have that book and then this other book called trust I've never heard anyone talk about it um but it that was the one that had like literally I I put a hold on it at the beginning of January and I just now got it um so both of those books like became available at the library too so I just have a lot of books to read right now so I'm so excited um, but I've been loving, like, I can't believe I was sleeping on Colleen Hoover. Like, I do owe her an apology. I'm sorry, Colleen. Um, anyway, speaking of coffee, you guys. Oh, it's in the sink, my mug. I got this, I got a PR package from La Colombe. Oh, I love her or him. I'm not really sure if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but they gave me a PR package and they gave me the cutest mug ever, but it's in the sink right now because I obviously used it this morning. Um, and they just came out with K-Cups. And you know how, like, curing coffee, like, it's, like, not as strong because it's like curing coffee you know what I mean like it's not like the best quality coffee you've ever tasted in your whole life you know what I mean so I was like oh like I hope that these are good because like curing coffee is usually like watery you know what I mean 
this is literally my favorite. Like, it, I've had this. In, I haven't had cold brew in like four days. I've been having this. Like, it is so good. They have a medium roast and a dark roast. I really don't notice that much of a difference between them. Um, but they're both like obviously like really good and like really strong. Like, if you like a nice strong black cup of hot coffee, this is for you. Let me tell you, it's so freaking good. And I literally love that. So I've been drinking. I've been my hot coffee era. And good thing because it's snowing apparently. Snowing on my 25 and 5 fifth birthday or 5 twelfths. I can't do fractions. I can't do math. I need to refocus. So you guys, and then, oh my God, you guys, what's it called? Murad, the skincare company. They sent me a matcha in a PR package. And I used to drink matcha, like you guys, like not to like be like, Ugh, I was doing matcha before y'all, but like I was drinking matcha in like 2016, 2017, like not to brag. Not to brag, but I was. Um, and I was just doing it for the health benefits, not because I thought it tasted good, because it literally tasted like shit. I actually started drinking back in like 2016, 17. I would drink the Starbucks matcha, which I know is like so bad for you. I didn't know at the time. I was like matcha, healthy, you know? I wasn't as educated, an educated, healthy, holistic young woman that I am now. I was just a wee little girl. I was just 17. Um, but I would drink the Starbucks matcha. And I was like, oh, this shit's delicious. So when I bought it myself. And I was like, this tastes like shit. It tastes like dirt. Um, so then I stopped drinking matcha. I used to drink green tea every day. Like you guys, I don't think I ever, how have I never told you this? I don't think I ever have, but I used to be like anti-caffeine. Like I was like, caffeine is so bad for you. Like I will never drink caffeine because when I was a little kid, this is a random story. Oh, fuck. I'm like, going, I'm going to get into it. This, see, this is why I had to stop doing the podcast. Cause anything I bring up my Scorpio Mercury brain just has to go on 87 different tangents about one thing to bring us back to the topic. And I just couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle doing the podcast and then having to edit all of it. It was overwhelming me. Okay. Anyways, what was I saying? When I was a little kid, this is a short story. When I was a little kid, I used to drink pop every day. Like my dad, you know, I did not grow up in a granola household. Okay. Like I, I had kid cuisines. Okay. I would have had Lunchables if my dad didn't think they were too expensive. Like I, we, like I did not grow up in a granola house. So I had pop every day every day after school which probably sounds so bad this is like literally like my origin story like this is like such a funny origin story of me as a child I was probably in like the third or fourth grade like very young and I remember like my dad was like making my dinner I got home from school and like my dad would get home with me at like 3 or 3 30 whenever you got home from school and he would make me you know like dinner obviously and like I would have pop with my dinner and I remember like I was sitting waiting for my dinner like watching Drake and Josh probably and I was like oh my god like I really like I need my pop like dad can you please bring me my pop like I need it and like I was thinking that in my head I didn't say that out loud but I was like hold on I like checked myself I was like my like literally like 10 year old brain okay I was like hold up girl what's wrong with you like you have an addiction I was like this is an addiction I was like what is wrong with you? you're literally like fiending over this pop right now and I told my dad, I like realized like, oh my God, like I'm addicted to like, I didn't realize really that I had caffeine. I just knew it was like the sugar, mostly probably that I was addicted to, like getting that sugar hit at like 3.30 every day. And I told my dad, I was like, dad, I'm addicted to pop. I don't want to drink pop anymore. I'm not having pop after school. And like, I literally told him that at like 10 years old, like I was already fixing my unhealthy habits at 10 years old. And I did the same thing with um, I would fall asleep to TV every night. Again, no granola household here. Like I had a TV in my room my whole life. And my dad would always, everyone in my house fell asleep with their TV on. Literally everyone. We all had like four TVs on every night when we went to sleep. And one night, I don't, I think I just tried to go to sleep without the TV on. And I was like, oh my God, like it's so hard to, I was again, like 10 or 11 years old. I was like, wow, it's so hard to go to sleep without the TV. And I was like, that's a bad habit. I was like, TV while you go to sleep? Like, that's a bad habit. I need to get rid of this. And I told myself that day, literally as a little kid, I was like, I never, I'm, I'm not falling asleep to TV anymore. Like I'm dependent on the TV to help me fall asleep. And I, from that day on, I was like, no more TV. And then now I literally don't even have a TV in my apartment. And then eventually I got, a t I um, took the TV out of my room, like as I got older, cause it was mounted on my wall when I was a little kid. So I couldn't really remove it. But once I like, we like moved, houses I was like I don't want a tv in my room and now I don't have a tv in my apartment but like even as a little kid I was just healthy habit queen like I don't know what was I saying oh I used to be so against caffeine and I didn't start drinking coffee until I would drink decaf green tea every day because I wanted the benefits of green tea but I know probably like I've heard like that's also like bad because like the way that they decaffeinate it is bad I don't know okay I was just doing my best at the time okay but I would drink decaffeinated green tea 
probably like 2016, 2017, 2018, like every single morning, that's what I would have. I would have no coffee, nothing. And then I think when I started like going out and like partying, but I, not actually, I was the DD every time. Okay. But I, and I joined my sorority and like we started going out to parties. I started drinking coffee before the parties at like, you know, six, seven, 8 PM because I needed to stay up. And obviously I was waking up at, I was still waking up at like 5 AM back in like 2017. And I was like, okay, like I need this coffee to stay up. And that's why I started drinking coffee when I started to go to like frat parties and stuff. And I knew that I had to like drive everyone home at the end of the night because I was DD. Um, and that's why I started drinking coffee. And now I am addicted. Isn't that a beautiful story? I love it. I love Celsius. I love my caffeinated greens, but I was literally so anti-caffeine. <laughs> my whole like life since that pop incident when I was a little kid. Anyways, I started drinking like caffeinated green tea and matcha and stuff back in like 2016, 2017. Anyways, they sent me this matcha and I was like, okay, I'll give it another try. I haven't had matcha since literally since like I lived at home, like probably like four years, like before COVID. Ugh, COVID was four years ago. Fucking crazy. Anyways, probably like before COVID since I had matcha and I tried this. I didn't want to like waste it obviously. And I was like, I'll try Like I'll try. I don't think people realize like, I will try any food. Like I will try octopus. Like I will try any food. Like I am not picky at all. So I was like, you know what? What if I put this in my morning bevy? So I did my, you know, coconut water, lemon. I did half of the packet of my caffeinated greens. Cause obviously I don't want to have like the full caffeine with this caffeine too. So I just did half the packet of my greens. And then I did a little bit of the matcha and I mixed it all together. It was actually kind of good. So I've been drinking this in my morning bevy and I know matcha is like so good for you. So I'm feeling like a health queen right now. Anyway, so I don't know if I'll ever become like a matcha girly. I haven't tried it by its like on its own yet with like milk and like warm. I probably should though. I definitely will soon, but um, I'm kind of on a matcha journey, but I think I'll always be a coffee girly. Like I love coffee way too much. Anyways, I wanted this vlog to be like a Feral Friday vlog. So what I'm doing today, but I've already been talking for 20 minutes and um, I haven't even moved out of the kitchen yet. But obviously it's Whole Foods Day, you guys know that. And you guys saw that they, I'm just restocking my probiotic. But I also need to order more caffeinated greens. I literally have three caffeinated greens left. I need to order that today too. Okay, you guys know I'm going to Whole Foods Day. Hold on, I have to show you this, hold on. Whole Foods sent me this hat in a PR package and I'm obviously obsessed with it, needless to say. And so I was gonna make a video today for TikTok styling outfits around my Whole Foods hat. So that's on the agenda for the day. I need to edit and upload my Pilates vlog. And then we're gonna go to Whole Foods and I'm gonna do my vlog and haul there, of course, for TikTok. So that's what we're doing today. That's the vibe. But right now I'm gonna have my tea. Also, I wanna show you guys the podcast I've been listening to. I got really, really into podcasts when I was recovering from my surgery, like watching the video podcast because I literally had nothing to do for like two weeks. Um, so I've been watching like video podcasts I am obsessed with Jake Shane's podcast, Therapist. Like, I've watched every episode religiously. Like, I like if I see that's uploaded, that's the first thing I'm clicking on. I've been loving his podcast. I've been loving Sophia and Chinzia, the girls' bathroom podcast. I actually started watching that or listening to that, like, a long, long time ago. And then I just kind of got disinterested in it. But now they're, like, posting it on YouTube, like a video version. And I am obsessed with it. Like, I, that and Jake Shane, I've been watching every single week. What else? I've been loving Jamie Van Sloan's weekend vlogs on YouTube. Those have been slaying too. That's basically what I've been watching lately. But I just watched Therapist this morning, the episode with, um, what's that take? Josh Richards. Josh Richards. Like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even know. Like, Josh Richards. Like, I'm so not interested in Josh Richards. Like, I really don't care. But I watched the episode. It was literally the funniest thing ever. I laughed so much during it. And like, it's like, I don't even care who the guest is. Like, the podcast is always going to be good. You know what I mean? Like, and that's just like the talent that Jake Shane has. Like he could bring literally any guests on there and it would be funny and it would be great and it would be entertaining. Anyways, so that's what, that, those are the podcasts that I've been listening to, content I've been consuming as of lately. I think I might have, I know my protein shake today. I don't know if I'm gonna have my protein shake or I might have bone broth. Cause it's both 20 grams of protein. Oh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Like, you know when you're a Libra and you just like, think too hard about shit that you don't need to think about. Like what? <sighs> it's exhausting. Anyways, I'm gonna go sit at my desk, kind of plan the vibes of the day, plan out my outfits for my styling outfits video. I'm also doing a video with Princess Polly. I did a styling video with them and you guys know I love fashion. If you know me, you know I'm a fashion girly at heart, but I've just never had the like money to like be a fashion girly. Like I literally would wear clothes when I worked 
in corporate America, I had these jeans and they had like a, literally like a hole like in the crotch, but they were the only jeans that I had that fit me. So I had to wear those jeans for like months at work, um, but like no one saw. And then also I had boots that I wore to work every single day. I only had one pair of like dressy like boots for like the winter. They had holes in them and people would make fun of me and be like, your fucking shoes are like literally like get a new pair of shoes. And like, I just like didn't have, I couldn't afford <laughs> to like get a new pair of shoes. And people would make fun of my Air Forces too. Cause I literally had the same pair of Air Forces that I wore every day for like two years. And they were really like messed up and people would make fun of them at work. And my old boss would give me her hand-me-downs to wear to work because I didn't have the money to buy new clothes. And so I, I am a fashion girly, but I just never have had like the opportunity to like be a, you know, I've been a fashion girl like on my Pinterest. Like I'd be like, it's like, you know, it's like I would dress so good if I was rich. You know what I mean? Like I would have the best outfits if I was rich. Like that's me. Um, but I worked with Princess Polly for a styling video and like fashion is like, like if I, like if I would go, if I had the choice to like go back to like corporate job or something, you know, fashion, like fashion journalism, like that's always been my dream. I almost went to fashion school. You guys know that I chose this for. I almost went to fashion school for fashion merchandising or like fashion journalism or something, but I just ended up not going. Um, but I'm doing the styling video with Princess Polly and I love how it turned out and I just want to make more fashion content because I truly, truly love it. But I've just never been in the place where like I could actually make it myself because I didn't have any money. But shout out to Princess Polly for working with me. It's literally just a dream come true. Anyways, I need to go plan out what the fuck is going on and then I'll come back to you guys. But it's going to be a feral Friday vlog. I was thinking I don't, I don't like committing to things because then when I commit to something, Oh, I'm fucking committing. You know what I mean? Like I am committing to it. So I don't like committing to things that I don't know if I'm going to really want to commit to because I will have the overwhelming desire and urge to commit to it, even if I don't want to. Does it make any sense? Anyways, I don't want to commit to anything, but I was like, what if I did like a vlog every Friday, like Feral Friday vlogs? And it could just be like a Feral Friday vlog. Like, wouldn't that be kind of fun? But like, I don't want to commit. Yeah. I just want to say like, I might, ju I might just be having a good day. You know, like my seasonal depression has been kicking my ass for like, Honestly, just my depression in general has been kicking my ass for approximately two years now. Um, but I've been feeling a lot better. It's Aries season. I think that's what it is. You guys know I love a good Aries. I'm a Libra. We're sister signs. I love Aries. I love Aries seasons. It's the, I think there's a new, no, it's a full moon in, full moon in Libra on Monday. I think that that might be why I'm so tired. Like why I woke up so tired this morning and like so like hungry because it, the full moon is coming up and it's in my sign of Libra. So I think it's like having like a personal attack on me, whatever, I can take it. But I love Aries season, you know, it really just invigorates my sixth house of work and routines, which we love. And I love Aries season. I love all my Aries men out there. I always said I was gonna marry an Aries man. I would marry, I think I would marry an Aries man, unpopular opinion, or a Gemini man. I think that that's what I need because I love Gemini's because like they can talk you know what I'm saying like I love to talk and I love like I need someone that's gonna like talk back to me you know what I'm saying I, I can't be talking all the time I need you to talk too and I like how they're like a little bit intellectual I also love my popular opinion I don't think I'd ever marry a Virgo but like I, I, I like a Virgo like I can handle a Virgo my dad's a Virgo so I'm very familiar with Virgo energy I also have my Mars in Virgo so I'm very familiar with the energy. So I can feel like I can handle them well, but I don't think I would ever go for a Virgo sun. I think I could do like a Virgo moon, maybe. But I think I would prefer a Capricorn moon or a Taurus moon. But I've really never talked to like a water moon before. So I don't know how that, cause I'm a water moon. You know, I know I can't, fire moons are absolutely, I would literally rather die, put me in jail for 50 years and marry a fire moon, okay? Um, air moons, I, I'm not, um, not too much experience, but I think that they're just a little bit too air heady for me. Like I, like I, I don't think I can do an air moon. So I think like Virgo moon, Taurus moon, Capricorn moon, but I would just need them to understand my emotional depth, but I like how they're stable and grounded, but I would need them to also understand and acknowledge my emotional depth. You know what I mean? But I don't think I can handle another water moon because then it would just be too much emotion. Actually, I did date another water moon and it was a lot of emotions, girl. I don't think I could do all that again, but I think that I'm gonna marry an Aries or a Gemini man. I can't do Sagittarius. I can't do Leo. I can't do Aquarius either. Can't do Libra men. Yeah, I mean, those are really my only two options. I'm gonna go like see what the fuck is going on and then I'm gonna get back with you guys, okay? okay. You guys, I just made like the most psychotic breakfast slash lunch and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys but I have to show you um I use I had okay it's a grocery day okay 
Um, it's like I don't have much to work with and I needed some protein. Okay, I want to be a healthy queen. Okay. Um, I had some leftover ground turkey. And then I put it with eggs and spinach and ketchup. So it's literally ground, half a pound of ground turkey, four eggs. Well, one egg, three egg whites and spinach and ketchup. Okay, but it's protein delicious though. It's literally protein delicious. It might taste like shit though. It's fine. No, but I've been editing my Pilates video. So that's going to go up probably within the next hour. And then I'm going to start, I need to do my hair, makeup, film my Whole Foods outfit video. And then we're going to go to Whole Foods. But I want to show you guys my disturbing lunch breakfast situation. It's really not good. God, I forgot to move, man. Look what I made. I made a little matcha. This is bringing me back to when I used to make it. I put cinnamon on it because I remember I used to do that back in the day. But you guys, I'm so tired. Also, it's 3 o'clock now. I just posted my Pilates video. So I got that edited and posted. And good thing, because literally this morning I was like, it said that the snow was going to stop at like 10 a.m. And I was like, oh, I'll just go to the gym when it stops snowing, you know? Because um, it was supposed to stop at 10 a.m. And I was like, that's not too late in the day, right? Um, it just stopped snowing and it's 3 p.m. So good thing I didn't wait for it to stop snowing because it was literally snowing for like five hours longer than it was supposed to snow. And I'm literally freezing right now. It is so cold. So annoying. So I had to make a hot beverage because one, I'm freezing. And two, I have no energy. I think that this full moon is really taking it out of me. Like there's no reason for my me being so tired right now. And I have to go to Whole Foods. Like I need to be on my A game. So I'm having a little matcha. And I also wanted to try my matcha. But... I put just a little bit of coconut milk in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. It tastes just like how I remember it. Ooh. I don't know how you guys drink that. Wow. That's awful. Because like coffee, like black coffee, I know like people don't like black coffee, but it doesn't taste like dirt. You know what I mean? Like this tastes like dirt dirt like I just ran through a forest and tripped and fell and my face went into the dirt like that's what this tastes like wow that's rough anyways I need to get ready but I've literally been like like my eyeballs feel like they're gonna close for what reason literally for what reason so I haven't been I don't want to do my makeup because I like, feel like I'm gonna go to sleep so hopefully this matcha really kicks me into shape um and it stops snowing thank god and I think they like salted the roads because the roads are looking better because this morning they were very slushy which is not good, but the roads are clear, so I should have a great drive to Whole Foods, hopefully. Wow, I need to get ready. Also, the other podcast I've been loving is Callie Wilson's podcast. She just uploaded, so it just reminded me. I love her podcast. Like, my, I feel like my eyes look red. Like, they're, like, watery because I'm, like, so tired for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Um, but I love her podcast, too. I She, she feels like my, she's my bestest friend. And she's a Virgo. See, I like Virgos. Anyways, Jake Shane is a Scorpio. Sophia and Chinzia. Chinzia is a Libra. Sophia is a Cancer, which is actually like kind of a crazy combination, a Libra and a Cancer, because I'm a Libra. I hate Cancers. I hate Cancers. Like least favorite sign next to uh, Cancers and Taurus. I, I can't do it. You guys, it's so... Oh, I should put honey in it. <sighs> it's priority, like... Like what? Like it's, you know, there's like two ounces left. It's too fucking late now. I'm so excited to go to Whole Foods tonight though. I hope that I make a really good, nice, juicy vlog for you. I planned out my fake tanning and my hair washing schedule for next week. Cause I do have some plans. I do have some plans. Oh my God, you guys. I almost forgot that I was filming my Feral Friday vlog. I just got dressed. I just filmed like a little get dressed with me video for TikTok, but this is the outfit. It actually kind of slayed. This is like a first try outfit. I thought I was going to have to like change it a few times because of the snow today. It's really throwing off my vibes, you know? I feel like it's really cute. These are my Abercrombie jeans. Of course, love this top long sleeve from Abercrombie. Abercrombie jacket, Whole Foods hat, and then these sneakers are from Revolve. They're just Nike dunks, but we're off to Whole Foods. I... Like last week when I went to Whole Foods, I was like not in the mood. Like I wasn't craving anything. Like I didn't really want anything. And like, again, I feel like, I feel like that again. Like I don't really want, I'm not really in the mood for any snacky poos or like any little treats, you know, or like a tuna wrap or like some sushi. Like, I don't know. So we'll see what, I think I had sushi last week, didn't I? We'll see what's calling my name when I get there. I do, however, want to recreate, I'll put it on the screen. I do want to recreate this pic. I saw this guy, I don't know, like this random guy on Instagram took this pic and I was like, 
I need to do that in Whole Foods. And that was before I even got this hat. I was like, I need to do that in Whole Foods. And then I got this hat and I was like, it's a sign. I need to take that picture in Whole Foods. So I think I might take that picture today. Um, hopefully if I can, if people get out of the aisle, so while I'm in the aisle, like if you see that I'm recording for my TikTok, get out of the aisle. You know what I mean? Like it's so rude. And I'm kind of going a little bit later. What time is it? It's 5.37. So I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people there or not. Actually probably not because it's snowing. Yeah, there probably won't be people there. I'm just manifesting that, that no one's going to be there. So I can film and I can take vlogs in the aisle and I can talk to you guys. And I can take pictures. Like I'm really not there to grocery shop. I'm really there for the content. I'm there for the vibes and for the content mostly. And then to grocery shop. Who wants a Whole Foods haul? You guys are exhausted. Oh my God, I'm so tired. What time is it? 8.14. Oh my God, I literally need to go to sleep right now. But I'm still going to give you guys a haul because I'm absolutely dedicated to the Feral Friday vlog. Except I'm so pissed. You want to know why I'm so pissed? Because I forgot to take a picture of my cart. I never fucking forget to take a picture of my cart. I'm fucking flaming pissed right now. Um, but I got these chippies that I was eating. I had quite a few little snacky poos going on tonight. I got these sweet potato chips. So good. So good. My other snacks for the evening, I didn't get ice cream. I had the ice cream in my car and I was like, you know what? Like, no, what is this motherfucking piece of hair? I got these instead. I got these instead of the ice cream. These little gluten-free vegan cookies, grain-free cookies. I don't know, they were kind of delicioso. And then I splurged this Siete stuff. So expensive, this is like $5.49. I'm gagged. Um, But these are the churro cinnamon strips. They taste like a, like a cinnamon bagel. I love a fucking cinnamon bagel. Okay, so I got those two. I ate all those in the car. Um, now my tummy hurts. Period. What's fucking new? Okay, got some coconut water. No one cares. All the other stuff is in my fridge. Hold on, I need to get my shit together. I got this wine. Don't fucking laugh at me, okay? I don't know anything about wine, okay? Go watch my Whole Foods all that I just posted on TikTok. I don't know anything about wine. And I told you guys about my feral weekend plans that I have. Did I tell you guys? that I might be having weekend plans. Well, no, I do have, I do have plans, okay? <laughs> Surprise, and um, this person requested white wine. I'm usually a red person, cause I like, when I drink it, and I'm like, Ugh. you know, when you like drink, they're like really dry, like red wine, and you're like, oh God, and it, like really just like gets you going, um, but whatever. So I got, this is only, I, like, I, I don't fucking know, okay? It just said sweet white, and I was like, perfect, I'll get it, it was like 15 bucks. Don't fucking laugh at me. I'm so I'm so not in the mood to be laughed at right now. <laughs> let me. Oh, my fridge actually kind of looks sexy. Hold on, let me show you. Wait, you guys, maybe I'll do a what's in my fridge. Look how delicious. Oh my god, look how delicious my fridge looks. Okay, so I got a bunch of lemons. Obviously, I got two apples because I want to make these healthy Samoa cookies. Whatever. Go watch my fucking TikTok vlog. Okay, I got pepper pepper sandwiches and I got carrots. That's from Trader Joe's. That's from Trader Joe's. Strawberries. My recess drinks, um, my Slacolombe, and then I got two poppies. I had these already for my sister, and then I got, they didn't have that many flavors today. I got the, what is it called, raspberry rose one. I got another yogurt. What else? Coconut water. That's really it. I feel like I have something else to tell you. Mm, maybe not. Anyways, I think that's it for our Feral Friday vlog. My tummy hurts. I need to lay down. I need to have some sit and rot time. I need to take off my makeup. Oh, wow, what a day. What a feral Friday. Did I seriously? I feel like I got something else. I don't know. Anyways. Oh my God. I have to do the dishes. Oh my God. I need to take a little nap. I just need to take a little nap. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. My hair is really something else today, okay? Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And hopefully I will not be depressed and I will be able to do these vlogs for you guys every feral Friday. How fun would that be? I love that vibe for us. And I love starting my, I'm going to start my day tomorrow. I'm going to wake up and just start editing this vlog. I love starting my day with editing. Oh, it's literally, it makes me feel so amazing. Anyway, so I'm so excited. So let's be up on Saturday. Woo! What a great fucking day. What a great day. Oh, I love that. You guys, you guys, it's the next morning. It's Saturday. I slept in today. What time is it? It's 8.09. Oh my God. I slept in because I have... Some crazy stuff happened last night after the Whole Foods. Y'all know, like, after the Whole Foods, like, I'd be going to bed. But no, my plans have changed. So, you guys know that I had plans for Monday. So, I was preparing my fake tan, my nails, everything, as you can see. My nails are on, okay? And I fake tan, as you can tell by my hands. Like, I used the Jergens fake tan. It actually, I haven't used it in a while. It actually kind of slayed. Um, it's a little bit orangey-er 
than my Bondi Sand Tan, but like the color, like the darkness is there. And like, I, I'm not mad about it. Anyways, last time my cousin, my, my cousin that's like my friend, my friend cousin, you know, like she's like my friend cousin, like we're friends, but like we're also related by blood. Um, <laughs> and she texted me last night and she was like, her, her birthday is like later next week. And Aries season, you guys, I swear, Aries season is just crazy time, okay? Like, crazy things happen. She texted me last night, and she was like, hey, I don't know if you have plans tomorrow, but do you want to come out for my birthday tomorrow, Saturday? And I'm like, oh my god, like, you guys, you guys know I haven't been out in a year. The last time I went out, actually, it's funny, the last time I went out was with my cousin on St. Patrick's Day last year. So I, I literally, like, have not been out in a year. And it's just funny that last time I went out, I was with her too. And I was like, um, of course I want to come to your birthday tomorrow. Like why? Like, duh. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, of course. And I was like, oh my God, my fake tan schedule. I'm like, I'm not fake tan. I have no nails on. I just washed my hair. So that did work out well. Cause then I can have second day hair today, which is good. I was like, oh my God. So last night it was like, she texted me, I think at like 830. And I was like, oh my God, like it's my bedtime. Like I have to go fake tan. So I fake tan. I didn't. I I didn't face him my legs. No, I did not. No, nope. just my upper half. <laughs> just the part that would be shy. I was like, I don't have time for this. And then I did my nails really quick last night. They're just the Glamnetic. I've had these before. The little white tips. They're really, really cute. Um, But yeah, so now I'm doing that today. Like what? So I, I let myself sleep in because I'm not even going to get there until like 9 p.m. tonight. So I was like, I'm going to need to sleep in. Um so I can stay up later, hopefully tonight. And then I have a crazy day Monday. Like I'm booked and busy this Aries season, you guys. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on that because I didn't think to um, film it last night when I was doing it because I was stressed, but crazy weekend. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyways, today, what are we doing today? Today I need to, today I'm gonna go to the gym because I didn't go yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna walk my four miles. Um, and then I have to edit this video. I'm gonna hopefully take some TikToks while I'm getting ready for to go out for my friend's birthday and then we're gonna do that. What a crazy time. What a crazy time. I'm hungry. I want 10 coffees. I want my morning bevy. We gotta get to it, folks. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys and that's why I'm wearing this. Don't make fun of my outfit, Taylor. Why are you wearing a zip up hoodie to bed? Because this is the only hoodie that I had that wasn't like, you know, I wear that light gray hoodie and I didn't want to get fake tan on it. So I'm wearing this one. Okay, don't make fun of my outfit. I really don't need this right now. I did. I had to do the dishes last night still. Like, I was so busy. <laughs> I was so busy. Oh, my God. And I have to go to Target today to get all my friends, like, little gifts. Like, my cousin and then my other friend whose birthday was yesterday. And then I have another friend whose birthday is, I think, on Thursday on the 27th. So, I'm going to go to Target. I'll probably vlog that. Actually, if you guys forgot, I'm going to probably vlog my Target trip. I'm probably going to go straight after the gym. So, I'm going to look a bit crusted, dusted, and busted. But it's fine, you know, that's what we gotta do. We're booked and busy out here, folks, and I am not complaining. I love it. And hopefully I can put together a cute outfit. It's gonna be so cold though. Do you guys know it snowed yesterday? Thank goodness it's not snowing today. Can you imagine that? It's snowing and your birthday's at the end of March and it's snowing on your birthday. That would literally suck. But it's still gonna be like 32 degrees. So I got these new clothes from Princess Polly that I was like, oh my God, I can wear my new clothes. And I was like, no, I can't. You're gonna have a jacket on, girl. You gotta wear a jacket. So don't know what I'm wearing yet. But again, I'll probably make vlogs on TikTok about that. So I'm excited. I love when I have things to do so I can actually vlog about it. Because usually you guys know I'm just sitting here around doing nothing, doing the same shit you guys have been seeing for the past two years now. Anyways, you guys, I got to go hopefully have a grot sim at Chicka Crit. Um, and thanks so much for watching. And I hope to do, I hope to do more Feral Friday vlogs soon thanks so much for watching i love you so much you are the reason that i wake up in the morning you really really are i would literally have no other purpose in life anyways i'll see you guys later bye